Kia ora, Aotearoa. Welcome to New Zealand. The area known as the Bay of Plenty in New Zealand lies at the intersection of the Indo-Australian and Pacific continental plates. The pressure created by the collision of these two plates causes volcanic activity in the area and the continued warming of the Earth's crust. The dominant feature of this area is the Mount Tarawera volcano, whose eruption in 1886 distinctly changed the local landscape. During a single night, the eruption created a 17-kilometer-long rocky crevice and 22 craters, while at the same time managing to cover 15,000 square kilometers with volcanic ash and mud up to 20 meters thick. 150 people died that apocalyptic night. White Island, named by Captain James Cook, got its name thanks to the white clouds that seemed to emerge from it. Today, White Island is the most active volcano in New Zealand. The landscape inescapably reminds one of something out of a novel by Jules Verne. Dandelions are replaced by sulfate, and creeks bubble as a result of considerable temperatures. White Island is one of the most fascinating and accessible volcanoes on Earth. As New Zealand's only live marine volcano, scientists and volcanologists worldwide are attracted by its unique features. The volcano is estimated to be between 100 and 200,000 years old. However, the small portion of the island that is visible above sea level has been in its present form for an estimated 16,000 years. Walking on White Island is almost like walking on the moon. Virtually no vegetation survives the harsh, acidic environment inside the crater walls. Instead, lush beds of yellow and white sulfur crystals grow amongst hissing, steaming, bubbling fumaroles. Thankfully, New Zealand is not just about volcanoes and thermal springs. The dramatic coastline near Auckland is forever being washed by the surf of the Tasmanian Sea. When Captain James Cook aboard the ship Endeavour landed here in 1769, he named this the Bay of Plenty as a testament to the numerous prospering Maori communities settled here. Flocks of Australasian gannets migrate yearly across the Tasman lowland. Here on the Murawai beach, they form the biggest colony of its kind each year. Gannets are seabirds. They feed on fish and thrive on coastlines. They catch fish below the sea surface. To facilitate this, they are endowed with powerful beaks and a uniquely formed skull with air-filled sinuses. Gannets have hydrodynamic muscular bodies with powerful necks, strong legs, and webbed feet. They spend more time on the coast than on the open sea. They fly very efficiently and can swim for several meters below the surface of the water in search of fish.
our journey to the miraculous nooks of our planet comes to an end for now. On the next exploration of our compelling and bountiful planet Earth, we will travel to a volcano in Bali. Then, go rambling through pristine Lapland. Then, set off to Lombok and visit the Blue Mountains in Australia. Be sure to come travel with us as we discover miracles of nature.